Okay, here's a uh, video on making a circle out of three non-collinear points. If we had a geometry set, and I've done this um, on another video, um, you would join these up um, using straight lines, and you can see that Sketchpad cannot do any better. It it pretty much puts you at the level of someone who has a geometry set, except it's all kind of done electronically. And we can make the lines nice and nice and faint so that they don't stand out. And we now join all three. And now uh, once we have that, we proceed to find the midpoints of those two lines. And from the midpoints, we then draw the perpendicular bisector of each of those lines. Now that we have both perpendicular bisectors, we can now use them to construct the center of the circle at the point of intersection. Once we select the point of intersection and one of the points we want to be on the circle, we can now select circle from center and point and notice magically all three points are now on the circle just like you would with a, a compass and a sheet of paper. You would pretty much use the same, same logic. We make the circle a little thicker so that it stands out, color it a bit. And now we're going to move the points around to show uh, about the dis is this always true part of the lesson. So is it true that no matter where I move these points, I'm always going to get a circle? It doesn't matter where they are. And also students may, if they're very careful, notice a rather notable exception which is about to come up right there. And this is uh, where the, the lines uh, break the precondition. You remember that we want the three points to be non-collinear. Well, the moment they're linear, you don't get a circle anymore. You get a straight line. Prior knowledge in grade 10 before one does this activity, obviously you have to know about lines. You have to know about lines and line segments. And for example, joining three points that are non-collinear on a line segment can cause two line segments that are not parallel containing a common point because that's part of this. Also midpoints on a line segment, uh, how to find them, uh, how to find perpendicular bisectors, what they are, and what do they what do they tell you about the line segment. And this also combines another aspect of lines in that they have to be aware of points of intersection of two lines because we're using them to find the center of the circle.